hello everyone and welcome back to the channel if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and join our awesome community today we're diving into something really special a reaction to a powerful video from phase one i heard a lot about this video and from what i know it's a bold and thoughtful provoking piece that dives in deep into black history i'm excited and ready to break it down with you so let's jump right in all right so this is the first time i've ever seen this video so we're gonna dive right in man and see see what's going on is he doing the keith lee right there if i don't know keith lee is one of the guys that uh do the food uh uh reactions on his channel on tiktok Born to slide, I am not afraid. Hop about the K. Oh, yeah, free to God. They went out of state. I'm a child of God. I do not belong to the United States. For black history, tell Uncle Sam he can catch a fade. I went to that's that's crazy, right? There. I'm not gonna lie. That's crazy. Hell, I mean, school grad telling Uncle Sam he could catch a fade. That's that's crazy, right? There. The way that at the top of my class, still never thought I was over my peers. We did that time together 12 years. Ain't that some movie? I think that it is. They won't. 12 years of slavery so basically he spent 12 years in school feeling like he was locked up with uh his peers and uh you know quite frankly they have a movie 12 years of of a slave mm. i'm really a member i traveled that road i came back with the jewels from when i put up they pee how the roof from. was that the Illumin um not the illuminati but the mason symbol right there that's crazy so I'm wondering, is this guy, um, did he used to be a Mason or not? I'm not sure. Um, but he definitely, um, from my, my understanding, you're not supposed to have knowledge of signs or none of that if you're not a Mason. So most likely this guy probably have some information. Maybe he's a Mason. We some dog killers, won't true bones. No, we all spit them. We supreme. Somewhere I read a nigga had a dream. Did them dirty, they keep playing by that same to it. But it bullshit. If you win the battle, you can tell the story. And now that's that Martin Luther King um, assassination right there. That was that was a crazy moment in time, man. Very crazy moment in time, man. Lee whoever, get whoever glory. Hope you listen closely. This ain't metaphor. This is straight up real, and I prepared you for it. MLK was a motherfucking agent at first. He ain't know it could really. They now, that's funny that he say that that uh, Martin Luther King was an agent because we found out later on that Al Sharpton was an agent the whole time, and we thought he was just you know <laughs> we thought what well, he was what he say he was, but yeah, it's he funny. Some, it's funny to hear that. They don't want you to remember this. You not no slave, you indigenous. Fuck how they painted them Indians. You went to war with the French and the British men. Quite frankly, you was King's Merovingians. They took the women and men, made them prisoners, raised up the children to worship their images, set up a lab. That, that's that's crazy, boy. You're gonna get a lot of backlash from that, you know, especially from people that's in the Christian community. Uh, you're gonna get a lot of backlash on that. Tell Uncle Sam, he can catch a fade. They don't want you to remember this. You not no slave, you indigenous. Fuck how they painted them Indians. You went to war with the French and the British men. Quite frankly, you was King's Merovingians. They took the women and men, made them prisoners, raised up the children to worship their images, set up a lab to the genes, and they mixed them. And this shit get way deeper than your pigment. What if I told you you was born sovereign and all you ever had to do was admit this shit? What if I told you that this was your ancestor land? That mean that they was the immigrants? Wait, I think there's someone tried to explain that a hundred years later. The Negro was still in exile in his own land. Natural birthright, Malcolm style what was saying that's the curse right 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 right, right. for black history ain't no black history this ain't that I'm, I'm telling you man that shit there is eye opening um i will have to probably do some research on a lot of what he's saying but it's not far-fetched i can tell you that um shout out to phase one man this is this is actually a dope video and again i think it's gonna receive probably a lot of good good vibes from it but also there's going to be a lot of backlash from cer certain communities but uh make sure y'all go and check out his channel man uh phase one um at right now this video is at 219 thousand views man make it a million man y'all do that you heard man Not a 
slay. I was born to slide. I am not afraid. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, free to God. They went out of state. I'm a child of God. I do not belong to the United States. For black history, tell Uncle Sam he can catch a fade. I went to hell, I mean school. Graduated at the top of my class. Still never thought I was over my peers. We did that time together 12 years. Ain't that some movie? I think that it is. They won't control. All right. One of the things I really appreciate is how the video doesn't just present historical facts, but also challenges viewers to think critically about them. It's not always easy to confront some of these truths, but it's necessary. So what do you guys think about phase one of Elf Black History? I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments below.